Hello, everyone. I'm Naughty Rice. Today, we are going to make a famous Chinese milk dessert: traditional Beijing milk curd. It was first served as an imperial food during the Qin Dynasty, so it is also known as Beijing Palace cheese. Actually, the ingredients for this dessert is quite simple. You only gonna need milk and rice wine. Instead of a real wine, the rice wine we called Jiu Niang here is almost a sweet drink. It has some magic to transform milk into curd. I've also posted the super easy method about how to make rice wine or Jiu Niang at home, and you can find the link on the top right side of this video. So in this video, I just take the Jiu Niang I made three days before. It's almost alcohol free now and tastes very sweet. Exact the right time to make our palace cheese. First, we mix milk and Jiu Niang at a ratio of three to one. There are some healthy enzymes as well as organic acid in Jiu Niang, which leads to the coagulation of milk. But its activity is very low at room temperature, so the traditional method is to steam the mixture for about 10 to 20 minutes, or we can also bake it under 150 Celsius for about 30 minutes. And now our traditional milk curd is finished. But we can see there are some water already run out from the curd, so it's not very perfect, but tastes very good. Actually, this problem is quite common when we make it at home. Because the time you're gonna need to steam it is not fixed, it changes when you use a cup with different shapes or you increase the amount of the mixture. So one should really pay attention to it when it's almost finished and take it out rapidly when you see some water is running out. The texture is much better at this time. It tastes just like a very tender kind of milk pudding. You can also feel very mild sweetness from Jiu Niang inside. Well. If you have a thermostat, there is an another method for you, which I found accidentally. Here, I used my DIY rice cooker thermostat. I set the temperature at around 47 Celsius. Just put the mixture into it and set for around 30 minutes. Then the curd will be perfect when you take it out. I think this temperature is more suitable for enzymes in Jiu Niang to work. Then I went further and increased the concentration of the milk by adding very much milk powder, and I finally find that Jiu Niang works also very well at such a high concentration. Then I got some milk tofu, which is quite interesting. So so much for today. I hope you can enjoy the amazing taste of traditional Beijing milk curd. By the way, if you fillet the solid out and roll it with some red bean paste, it will be another dish called Beijing cheese roller. See you next time.